Where we're going today is straight down here and into the service tunnel for the Channel Tunnel, which provides us with an access for maintenance and most particularly for safety. We are 25 metres below the surface in between the two running tunnels. Um, over here we've got the tunnel that runs from France to the UK and on my left we've got the North Running Tunnel which takes trains from the UK through to France. Well this tunnel is 50 kilometres long, it runs from our terminal in Folkestone right the way through to our terminal in Coquel. Here we're in one of the cross passages. The cross passages link the service tunnel to the railway tunnels through that door. Now the doorway itself can be controlled from the railway control centre, from inside the railway tunnel or from in here if, if necessary. In the event of an incident on a train, the train would stop just opposite this door. The driver would contact the railway control centre and the door would open. As it opens, a bubble of clean air would be blown into the railway tunnel so that anybody stepping off the train would step straight through into a clean air environment, through the door and then into the service tunnel just behind us. So once we've evacuated the passengers from the incident train into the service tunnel, we close this door, we deal with the train in isolation. People have dreamt about building the Channel Tunnel for more than 200 years and attempts have been made at different times and where we're standing now, we are actually in today's tunnel, but we're also standing in a tunnel that was built in 1974 and a tunnel that was first dug in the 1870s. Now these segments here behind me, which are iron, cast iron segments, have got the date 1974 stamped on them. And they were placed here by the engineers who were tunnelling through in 1974 when they cut across the original workings from the 1870s. This is the midpoint of the tunnel. We're exactly halfway between France and the UK. Folkestone is 25 kilometres in that direction and Coquel is 25 kilometres in that direction. And above us, there's 100 metres until we get to sea level. This is a place that it's been impossible to get to in the past. This is the dry land route between France and the UK. I think this is a really unique environment. I don't think there is anywhere else like it in the world. There's no other tunnel that creates such a link between an island nation and a continent. There's nowhere else that is so far from the shores of those two countries. And so to be here always gives you a little bit of a, um, a, a, a special feeling because it's such an unusual place to work.